Hello YouTube. Uh, for a change, it's still daylight out there, so it's not four or five o'clock in the morning. So that's something new. Anyhow, I wanted to show you my uh, GPS cube outside of the cube. This is the one with the 1.3 inch display, which goes uh, into a GoPro session case, waterproof. So you can have it uh, mounted outside wherever you like. And I wanted actually to show you the GPS module I'm using now. And this is the small one that I made before I was using these guys here. And I used to solder uh, stiff wires to the back to hold it in place and have the plug plugged in and the wires come out and go to the PCB and uh, yeah, it was okay for the time being but uh, I like this approach much better plus it's smaller lighter and works beautifully and there's no more wires dangling around this is soldered solidly to the other PCB I designed a small PCB and I think I showed it to you I also have the tracker in the size of this small GPS now so anyhow I wanted to show you how it looks like without the wires uh, I do make the small GPS that go inside of the small cube also with this one because if I would use the regular sized GPS uh, there are two different ones but they do basically the same thing and if I have the plug plugged in it won't fit in here anymore so I would have to take the plug out and solder the wires directly and it just takes too much time it's much faster this way so and I also wanted to show you the menu real quick again for people that see it for the first time so this is your first screen it shows uh, this is for the US with uh, imperial readings you have the altitude in feet you have the speed in miles per hour you have the date with the month day and year and you have 12 hour time mode which you can change to 24 if you like uh, these are the received GPS signals and this is the direction of course you can not go by it right now because you're stationary once you start moving it shows it correctly and if you press on the navigation switch shortly it switches to degrees so it's either degrees or it is with the letters and if you push the switch down you go to the next screen which has your current latitude and longitude the distance traveled and on here is the saved uh, latitude and longitude and if you press and hold it it memorizes the current location coordinates memorized and now it shows it so if you're somewhere else you can reset it and then you see the distance to that location you push one more time down you go your, to your trip summary which shows you the overall distance traveled satellites received time and date and you push it one more time you go to the time display which shows the battery voltage satellites it's in 12 hour mode right now date and the time of course if you push it shortly it switches to 24 hour mode and if you push and hold it you can change the time zone okay right now it's in time zone 2 that's where I am and you select the time zone as it says here on the screen by pushing it in so you push it in and then it advances uh, I have to say that this code only supports full hours. I had a customer of mine buy one from Australia and I sold like uh, seven, eight of them to Australia, but he lives right in the middle and they have plus 9.5 hours. So unfortunately with this code, I'm not, 
and it's not going to be able to show you the time right it's going to be either uh, 9 hours or 10 hours so either half an hour faster or slower and anyhow so you push it in you to select your time zone and then if you have the right time zone you push it down and it saves us so right now it's here if you want to go do it again push in and hold so push in to select your time zone I put it on my time zone again right now okay push down and there you go this is my current time here and if you push one more uh, one more down you go to the first screen again so this is the menu and uh, this is how it is I think that was it uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody